Yes! Get the final for the first time since 2007. And that's the first time since Ferguson left, really, that I felt absolutely exhilarated, full of emotion, full of adrenaline, watching Manchester United. That's the first time I can safely say it is Manchester United, the team that under Ferguson was just such a force. And yes, it's one game. Yes, obviously it's not that team, but it felt like watching that team is what I mean. I went absolutely mental when Martial scored that winner. It, it's just a classic United goal, 93rd minute, brilliant from Herrera to somehow, you know, control the ball while he's falling over. He gets it, just a scruffy pass into the path of Martial and he... He oh, finesses it in. I went mental in the pub. It was just, oh, it was just everything, honestly. All the emotion for the last three seasons watching United. Oh, thank God. And yes, it's only the FA Cup and people will be like, oh, you know, it's not the Premier League. It's not the Champions League, but it's a trophy. And I've never disrespected the FA Cup. When Arsenal have won it and all that shit and other clubs, I, I, why would you disrespect it? It's a trophy. I don't even disrespect the Capital One Cup. Because it's a trophy. It's something that you win. It's something that, you know, your name gets engraved on it. And obviously throughout the years, your team name is on there. So, you know, why not go to win it? And now, if we do not win it, it's an absolute travesty. And there's also the bonus. Well, a lot of people might not see it as a bonus, but a lot of people will. Louis van Gaal in the press conference didn't seem overly confident about his future. If you've seen it, or you haven't seen it, I would suggest you do, because he keeps avoiding questions. Like There was a reporter that asked, um, what about your three-year contract? You've got a year left. And he just kept saying it's up to the board, it's the board's decision. So there was a report earlier on from a Portuguese uh, paper that never usually talks about uh, sport, particularly on their front page. And they said Jose Mourinho signed... Um, actually signed a contract and then there was follow-up um, English media that have said it might be announced within the next two weeks obviously there's loads of this going around and I'm getting Skyped by one of my mates I'll have to reject for now um, right anyway yeah we're still on this and yeah we'll see how it goes with Jose Mourinho but aside from that the FA Cup we're in the final let's go and win it let's Let's let Louis van Gaal leave on a high. He's, he's going to build us a legacy because of Rashford, Martial, maybe Lingard, Fosu Mensah, Cameron Brothwick, Jackson, maybe Luke Shaw. You know, all these youngsters, all right? I've gave van Gaal a lot of stick, but that is one thing. Regardless of whether it's injuries that's caused him to use this, he's used them. In the At the end of the day, he's used them and they've developed. And, you know... There's all this bullshit, Mourinho doesn't use youth, fuck off, he'll use youth and he'll prove it next year. But anyway, FA Cup final, thank God for that. And now, let's try and get a late push for top four. I mean, City just won today, Arsenal um, play Sunderland tomorrow, so we'll see where we are. But in terms of the FA Cup, one, one more game, Crystal Palace or Watford. No disrespect to either team, but we, we have to go on and win it. We really do. We we are the overwhelming favourites and we just have to land that now. And that'll be the first trophy since the Community Shield in the Moyes era, era and the biggest trophy since the Premier League in Ferguson's era. So I'm delighted, honestly. Oh, typical United. Fellaini, I, I, you know what, I haven't even talked about the match really. Fellaini, got to give him credit. He always comes up in the big games. I put a tweet on Twitter saying Fellaini would score today. And he did. I just had a feeling, because um, <clears throat> his goal secured us top four last year. Um, his goals, um, there, there was another goal in the Champions League, I think, or something like that. He pops up with crucial goals, is what I'm trying to say. And he did it again. And then, obviously, we had that uh, penalty with Fosu Mensa. Um, you know, Louis Van Gaal subbed him off five minutes later. I don't think it justified that, like... That was just the kind of tackle that you, you want to see now and again. I, it probably was a penalty, but I don't want to stop him from doing these sort of challenges because a lot of the time they're fantastic. This one might be missed time, but you know we've got David De Gea in there, who I now firmly believe is the world's best goalkeeper. I haven't said that before because I generally... Oh, for fuck's sake, Skype again. Oh, <laughs> I, oh, I haven't told him I'm doing a match review. Anyway, um, yeah, with... 
David De Gea, I haven't said he's the best goalkeeper in the world up until now. I generally believe he is. And uh, Rooney in midfield, hopefully that can work. He was pulling off some schools-esque passes. It was just really, really good to see. Obviously, in the second half, Everton dominated, and I generally thought we were going to lose. As soon as they scored that smalling on goal, I hope, and I don't think it will, get him down because he's been terrific. Without him, we wouldn't have kept 17 clean sheets this season. David De Gea is amazing, but you need at least one defender who's consistent like absolutely consistent and is a default center back blind's done really really well in a position that he it doesn't really know and as for full backs we've used about 15 because of injuries but anyway i'm rambling we're in the final get in i'm delighted with that just oh, the old united it felt like it was back and that is all that matters